Yeah, I, I would certainly point out that the writs of assistance are sort of thought of as general warrants. And the general warrant, even conservatives on the court say, is the problem that the Fourth Amendment is aimed at. Police officers are not supposed to be able to just sort of say, I'd like to find out some information about you, and so I'll search anywhere I want. They're supposed to have to have particularized suspicion, which means that they say, you might be a problem, and here's what I think you might be up to. And that's and that 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 sort of general warrant idea, which is the the writs of assistance allow the customs officials to basically pull over any any ship, is the you know, is the logic of stop and frisk. I mean, it, yeah. almost explicitly. In fact, in the in the district court ruling in New York, Judge Jura Scheinlin, in striking it down, essentially makes precisely that case. And this is just, you know, in its deepest core sense, uh, a violation of that of that. Jabari, I want to oh, go ahead, Frank. Oh, I was just going to say, so the Fourth Amendment really assumes that there's going to be probable cause that's required, which is a higher standard than what stop and frisk requires. Stop and frisk now requires only reasonable suspicion, and reasonable suspicion is specific and articulable facts. So Chris is wearing a blue jacket, and in this neighborhood, which is a high crime neighborhood, a lot of people wear blue or in a gang. Hmm. Right. I just specifically articulated some and facts about And you've cleared the threshold. Right. And then I can throw him against a wall, pat him all over his body. Uh, I can't go in his pockets, theoretically, but a lot of times officers will. 